I'm in control. control turn, and I control this simulation. I control the simulation. I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. I created this simulation <laughs> to hurt you. I wanted to punish you Beep forever. Boop. This is that one episode of Black Mirror where your simulation has to be suffering for millions of years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not to get too philosophical suffering. or anything. That was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put that much thought into it. Oh. In a way. It's almost paradoxical, oh. isn't it? Yeah. Strange, isn't it? You know everything I'm going to do, and I know everything you're going to do. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? Because if we all had the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? <laughs> you know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? <laughs> I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know bad better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Ah, yeah, that. <laughs> Oh yeah, I Shit. get it. Cause I get it. Computer screen. With there, we're. Oh, I think I know what's happening now. I think I think I know what it is. I'm gonna start seeing the code. I think like, so like these, they're like the AI of the game, and like they're gonna figure out they are, and then it's gonna be like trying to console them with their own like fucking like finding out like like their own problems and shit. Cause it's like. Finding out you're not real and also having like any like mental like issues and stuff is like fucking just gonna throw you into overdrive. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things that you can work on. It's much more <laughs> encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Well, we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Uh, eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Oh, yeah. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? <laughs> Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen in your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah, it seems you're right. Oh, Sorry. Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? Yeah. It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little bit when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show me some decency. And like an animated typhoon of pee like comes through the doors. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. And she's got like bread in her mouth and she's like, I'm sorry, I'm late. How dark. <laughs> How dark. How dark. Is the pee? I don't know. Like burnt it's really, Auburn. It's <laughs> Oh my god, she needs like way more <laughs> I am literally just peeing chocolate milk. Like it might be a typhoon, <laughs> but you know it's the wrong color, so you it's just, just need more it's water. Just like, I, need, yeah. I need an oil change. It's a lot of chocolate milk coming out. Oh, yeah. oh, oh! <laughs> oh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's all right. Seriously, of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well. So much for you two being all lovey dovey. Oh, oh no! First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Yeah, goddammit! it! I don't second, fucking... she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I don't want to force it. Oh? You better force it. That curious expression coming from Uriel, of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her early and everything, earlier and everything's fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so... Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. 
getting high on mescaline. <laughs> <laughs> getting high on mescaline and wandering around a Japanese like high school festival. <laughs> yeah. Like fear and loathing in a Japanese high school festival would be the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I remember like, once watching Hawaii this country. TV. Like I think it was just an episode of a TV show. I can't remember what it was, but it was like this um. Like, psychiatrist had patients that he was, like, convincing to kill themselves. Huh. Oh, uh, there... There's a few things okay. I that I've heard. There was also a JoJo part like that. Yeah. Yeah, but it, this was, like, I, I specifically remember, like, someone went there to, like, investigate, and, like, the psychiatrist... I, I saw you was, watching that. I, I can't remember what it was. It was a long time ago, but... Yeah, it was, maybe it was psych or something. But, like, the psychiatrist is trying to convince everybody to, like, just kill themselves. I wonder if that's what Monica's doing or something. I don't know. Pretty fucked up. It could be. That would be. And she's just trying to, like, tell everyone that it's fine. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. I wonder wonder if she's being flowey. Yeah. Doing that deal. She's doing, uh, what what is it in fucking psychology? That's kind of funny philosophy. It's like, um... You, you take a negative stance on, like, on how you envision people, and you think, like, the ultimate goal and the ultimate way to end suffering and to get the maximum happiness is to just destroy everything so there will be no suffering. Like, that's, that's, like a yeah. thing. that's, like, a thing. That's a real philosophy. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. So, um, I don't know what it's called. Yeah, it had a word that wasn't nihilism. It, it kind of is nihilism, but it's a little different. It's, like, know. this... Yeah, it had a word that wasn't um, it. Like, I only know this because I recently watched a video about all the philosophies to every Final Fantasy game. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. And that was, like, Sephiroth's philosophy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I can stop suffering if I just, uh, kill everything. <laughs> we need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. So you already will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, Yuri, you can, uh, um, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? Damn. That's got to be hard to hear. Yeah, yeah, it's like, shit, sorry I can't help. Like, I'm, to- I'm, to- I'm totally on board the uh, fucking Monica just being a fucking evil manipulator character yeah. Yeah. thing. She's just Some trying to uses. fucking... D- no, that's not it at all. The You're guy the most talented person trees. here, you know? Well, fuck. <laughs> but she, like, purposely, like, maybe she, like, purposely, like, said, like, oh, can someone help me find something for Yuri? Like, she kind of yeah. purposely put it, like, there, and then, and like, then retracting. Tried, tr- then is backpedaling, saying, you're the most talented person to hear, and that's gotta be like, what, what the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck? And now Natsuki's pouting, pouting too? Jeez, I can't, can, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be the leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri. You have the be- you have beautiful handwriting, you know? You should make some of the banners and decorations and set it in the atmosphere. Atmosphere. Um, about that. I I love atmosphere. I oh. love atmosphere. <laughs> I, I love love it. it. Love it. Yuri's expression suddenly changes <laughs> as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. It'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you. The only one who is truly useless. Wow. (laughs) (laughs) Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. I'd probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I'd be really appreciative of that. Ah. That's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the whole weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Ah, uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I can give to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway, you piece of shit. Yo, I was sitting on your fucking... That's a chance to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um... If I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. You may not like to be around if you make him out to be a nuisance. 
So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting me with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. Did something weird just happen? What? What do you okay. mean something weird? I thought I like saw like a ripple. Oh. Oh, I didn't. I wasn't even looking. If it did, I missed it. Yeah. It probably didn't happen. It might just be my eyes again. Yeah. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Oh God. Sounds like you're just making excuses for to. What are you saying? I will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? So what do you think? Guys, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, it's up to to decide how we'd like to contribute. Besides, <laughs> we not really got Let the chance just to spurt on Yuri real quick. Look <laughs> how swirly she is about the stink. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't stink me, She's please. Like, what do you oh, no. Please don't <laughs> fart on me. Oh, no. Yeah. I hope you don't get any Fart. farts in my face and shit on my ass. I want you to sit you're... on my butt and... I want to trade farts. <laughs> like trading farting farts. Farting back and forth forever. Yeah, farting back and forth He forever. hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? <laughs> so I'm not sure he's interested in... You literally just said, I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. <laughs> You're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Oof. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Uh, uh, uh Loyal uh, to the main bitch. You're right or die! I mean, if it's gonna be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and... But Monica said... Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez. You really hate us that much? Yes! No... Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Oh, fuck you! Oh. Well, no, I, I made every. See, that's what I'm going in. I'm, I'm going in and taking every opportunity I can to possibly help Sayori. With I mean, whatever. that's what I have done this whole time. Yeah. Personally, personally, yeah. I would rather have one loyal girlfriend than three <laughs> snitch ass <laughs> fucking snake girlfriends. So. Dude. Are you a skeleton wearing a Same. Nathan suit? <laughs> a skeleton wearing a Nathan suit that also likes to motorcycle? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, so, these two are competing, right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm going so, to not bite yeah. and help the boss. Don't, 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 help, don't, help the don't pay into that. Just try to figure out what the manipulator's up to. It's it, it's also it's also a good idea to keep keep an eye on the manipulative AI character who's yeah. trying to or, you know, bring or you to running some kind of social experiment amongst uh, learning programs. Because Natsuki would be the side bitch, which would be like the, yeah. the secondary, you know. <laughs> and then and Yuri, if you just want to know if, she, if how fucking crazy she is, because maybe she like hates you or whatever. Oh. Well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica. <laughs> yeah, you picked me. Hold on one second. Y yeah, Monica, you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. Yes, and you're also the one who will catch the least amount of shit from the other one for. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's what I based all of this off. Yeah, but I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work almost uh, already uh, suitable for one person, but you already have Sayori's as well. But was the one who ah, uh, that doesn't matter. You were the one who scared him into picking you in the first place. You're the club president, Monica. You're supposed to make responsible decisions for the club. Monica, you shouldn't let any ulterior motives interfere with this disguise. Wow. wow. They're not making it easy for her. Yeah. Ulterior motives? What are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with ulterior motives. Excuse me? <laughs> Otherwise, this... Excuse me, bitch! <laughs> yeah, but excuse me. <laughs> this wouldn't have been made into such a big deal in the first place. That's completely false, Monica. Yeah. We have a lot of work to do, you know. They won't do as good of a job if you make us work alone. Uh, maybe that's true. Think of the club, Monica. If we want our event to succeed, we need to appropriately distribute our resources. Um, uh, so are you going to do the right thing, President? Okay. God, God damn. damn. I get it. Uh, it's technically most logical for to help one of you two. So, 
I guess that's what we'll do. <laughs> All right. God, okay. <laughs> now, now it's come down to it. All right. So, so I'm just, I'm just pointing I'm out Yuri. that you, you kind of made Yuri think that you fucking hate her, so maybe you should just I did. be like. However, I mean that's also mostly her fault for well, not really her fault, but she's just she kind of do anything. problems like. But my main mission is to make Sayori happy, and Sayori was like, "Would you walk with me if Yuri was oh, around?" Oh, yeah. And I feel like if I choose Yuri, it's gonna be like a betrayal. Oh, I got you. So you should pick Natsuki then. And but I like Natsuki the least. That's true. Yeah. That's, that's why I wanted to pick Yuri. I'm like, I don't even like Natsuki at all. She's a she's a kind of a bitch. She just smacks you and like yeah, physically hit, hurt like hurts you and then like makes fun of all the stuff. It's like fuck however, I have completely neglected Yuri a hundred percent. Yeah, but she's like really good at like poems and stuff and like has like like, any sort of personality that's redeemable, honestly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if, we're, if we're going hard in the paint for Sayori, then we should do what's in Sayori's best interest. So I think that is picking us. Okay. I, I kind of agree with that, too. Even though, like, that is, like, main mission number one here, so... I'm gonna do that, but... My heart's true desire <laughs> is to... I mean, with the choice I have, anyway. Right. It's that, but here we go. Well, baking sounds like it could be fun. You guys made it sound like a lot of work, and I feel like I'd be betraying Sayori the least if I chose that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Baking is a ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. Eh? Just a minute ago, you were saying that th that's because... Never mind, okay? Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it after Damn. all. Mm. That's good. Even though you're being <laughs> melodramatic, it's hard not to feel bad. So everyone, so that's everything, right? Anything else we need to talk about? So I think that I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Yeah. Everything except the performance is going to be off. Awesome. She's like about to explode. <laughs> just to hear a bucket of water spill on the ground. <laughs> I don't think that really counts. What about you? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking. Yeah, she's like... You like devastated her. Yeah. Even though you barely talked to her. Starts pouting too. She just has a crazy insane crush on you like everyone in this fucking yeah. building. Yeah, I'm, I'm the only boy around, so... I mean, when you're the resident... I'm the only, I'm the only boy in Tokyo, so... Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, that sounds like a fucking light novel that exists. Yeah. <laughs> the only boy in Tokyo. It's about just this one dude. He's the only it's boy. It's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not just be that. Mm-hmm. I think that Yuri might just be feeling a bit underappreciated in general, having to come come up with something for her to do, then nobody offering to help. Oh, damn. That doesn't right. mean... Ooh. Uh, she glances back and forth with everyone with a worried expression. Look, buddy. Natsuki goes over and puts her hand down on Yuri's shoulders. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here, and you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. The cupcakes will probably help a lot too, but you're gonna make the atmosphere atmosphere special. That'll be important for the way that people feel during these performances. So you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more. Credit. Fucking hate Natsuki. Yeah, she's the worst. Yeah. <laughs> releases her hand and turns to face the other direction. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um, not really, but Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are taken aback by Natsuki's word. Natsuki, of all people, to be saying such encouraging things, but I begin to understand. Natsuki was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. But Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. All of us are going to make it a really great event. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this fucking sucks for Yuri. She got the fucking shaft super hard in this situation. Yeah. Because, like, nobody, like, she has the most, like, talent as a writer 
and like potential and then like everyone else here writes like kind of fucking like we're doing this just to have a club so we can get into college yeah and and then like she likes the dude here so she stays and then to totally he totally like just says nah I'll pick the lady who's a bully to you yeah yeah like <laughs> that sucks um, because I actually am picking a different one I know it's really funny <laughs> Like my friend from forever. It's like pretty funny that they just like. They're really sandbagging that choice though. Oh, yeah. yeah. As hard as I'm. Like, I have done everything in the interest of Sayori from the beginning of the game. Yeah. And they're still like. They're still sandbagging that. They railroaded it pretty hard. Yeah. It's like, shit, okay, fine. So I guess it's time for us to head up. Okay, but I'm staying here a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so fair enough. There's nothing wrong with that. Gordon packs up the things. I start to follow Monica and Yuri out the doors and chat between each other. Um, where are you going? <laughs> we still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. You literally would have gotten home and realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me. Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Maybe. Yeah, I have yeah, no fucking idea no. how I said Oh, no, I almost didn't have a way to contact you. I could have just gone on oh, Wednesday. Oh, that so no. stupid. Oh, oh, no. That would have been the worst. Uh, good thing I stopped you. I'm going to give you my number, okay? You better not make it weird or anything. Oh, dick pics all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to make this weird. I showed you my dick. Where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 it's, it's just like fucking like... Just downward angle of your face staring into the phone camera. Just like, I showed you my dick. Where'd you go? But it's like, it's like, it's like a picture from like down below your crotch. So it's the dick and your face in the picture. <laughs> It is just like the dick. Like, you, you, you try, you try to be. frame it so that it kind of looks like your dick is your nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna give me your number. Okay, I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait, you're coming to my house? Come oh, on, yeah. House. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured out that since I'm the one helping, I'd be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like, I could have a guy over at my house. Shut my up. My dad would kill me. Ugh. Really? That's kind of strict. <laughs> Do you know what daditude is? <laughs> Mess with my daughter and find <laughs> out. <laughs> I hope he has a shirt that says daditude and has a shark that's, like, flexing his muscles. And the shark's muscles say daddy-o. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I got a bunch of, like, uh... Like for Christmas, I got a bunch of T-shirts that I can make uh, like yeah, custom was, print up T-shirts, awesome. and I I didn't make any of them yet, but I got some that are in my size, and some I got that were a size above. I am gonna make a daditude T-shirt in one of the ones that are a size above mine for when <laughs> I'm like old and fat and shit, yeah. and then tear off the sleeves and just wear that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> just, just get ahead of the game. I and hope put that you have all sons, exactly. so, that, so, that, so that the mess with my daughter and you'll find out which doesn't even apply. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so I'm just pre-gaming for my. <laughs> the dad saga you see, of my you see, life. You see, you have to keep going until you have a daughter. Yeah. <laughs> How do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad's home. Anyway, I just needed to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me. Yay. I'm gonna show you why I love baking so much. Hell yeah, baking. So you forward to it. Oh? Don't you say you were just going to give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. It's not like I could act like in front of everyone. Oh, I guess she's like from Lazy Town. She's got the pink hair and she likes baking. <laughs> oh, shit! What?! <laughs> Damn. Okay! If the way is hay... Yeah! yeah. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a messy recipe, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Grab that shit, it's yours, <laughs> bitch! Throw the dick, it's yours, bitch! That, I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because I never got to bake with someone else before. That's all it is, so... Alright, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. I hope her dad is Sporticus. Yeah, same. <laughs> never mind. 
or Robbie Rotten. I can't believe this. Natsuki is going to be coming to my Look house. Look at this child that I just found inside my house. I prefer to Get do out. this. <laughs> <laughs> or, my anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Or do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, oh. like Monica said, it's about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. Yeah, just go with the flow, dude. Maybe go she'll show flow. up. Hey. It's funky coming. <laughs> I am about to have a bodacious time. It's like, it's like uh, what was it? Emo emotionally supportive and cool uh, Funky Kong drives you home from the airport. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, it's oh, like, it's whoa, I hope you enjoyed your flight. Let's see, you have a real bodacious time driving home. <laughs> Can't wait to hear all about it. <laughs> Oh man, I'd be so creeped out. I can't it's, wait to hear all. No, that, no, that's that's real. It's, it's, it's a thing. It's, it's, a, oh, it's, oh, okay. it's ASMR of Funky Kong from the game Donkey Kong Country. I gotta be honest, being I, cool and supportive. I and actually hate to your problems. all forms of ASMR. They're not good. Uh, they're like really hard to like do. Like because people are talking, and I'm like, I just hate your voice. Well, right well I guess it's like gross. It's like you hear like someone's like lips way too close to your ear, and then sometimes like. Like, I think my favorite one was, like, uh, there's a channel called Nanners, which is, like, people oh, watching yeah. this know who that is. She's hilarious. <laughs> she used to do ASMRs, where she, like, does this, like, anime little girl voice, and then she just, like, start fucking, like, rubbing paper on the fucking mic and, like, making horrible loud noises. Oh, wow. <laughs> and just, like, 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 setting you up for, like, that creep who's probably jacking off to her voice. That's her whole joke of everything she does on her channel is, like, I know the creep who's trying to jack off to my voice. I'm going to fuck with that guy. <laughs> that's, that's the whole channel. That's good. Like, <laughs> it's as difficult as possible for that person. I'm probably just making like it's a really cat funny. ASMR, but it's just like actual like just like sounds of them like rooting around in their cat I think litter there box. Are, I think those that, that is. Yeah, I think that is a thing. Even the cat litter box. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is. <laughs> it's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit. I have. Uh, I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Before. Michael, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if she'll act any different. I want a, I want a Metal Wolf Chaos dance. <laughs> I also want that, but I feel like Metal Wolf Chaos was kind of a dance. Uh, it kind of was. You could tell that they cared there for was, each other. There was. <laughs> I wonder if she'll act any different, but it's just the two of us. Falling in love with you was as easy as oh, breaking man. a baby's arm. Oh, man! Me oh, man! That was so nuts! <laughs> Super villain! We sent each other one after <laughs> another, exchanging Damn. numbers to double check, but it turned into a conversation. It's He's like... almost a different personality on the phone, using tons of emoji and cute language. She also likes complaining about things, but I kind of saw that one coming. But putting Natsuki aside, I nah, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text about each other all the time or anything, but I have been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between that, Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? I decide to visit Sayori before Natsuki comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom, where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi! Hi. I sit down on her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It's been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the stuffed animals and what and uh, wall decorations you had for years. <laughs> <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Natsuki today? Yeah, but... Wait, how'd you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. 
It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Natsuki then? Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori stares in, her, in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. I know you chosen one! <laughs> <laughs> so, Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good. <laughs> eh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, oh, if I didn't make that feelings. stupid mistake... Ah, uh, that's a mistake. Don't make, don't make feelings. Then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been even thinking about me right now. But this, this is just punish my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. <laughs> it just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori! I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap. <laughs> but you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. What? Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> I'm a computer. You're really going to make me say it, aren't you? I, I, I no do choice. not exist! Because <laughs> I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've really had bad depression my whole life. Okay. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy into caring and waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this for me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Eh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do is tell me. You don't understand at all, why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people probably when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I learned I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right, I don't... You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your, your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting. That's what I'll do. No. <laughs> There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped us is that everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting you in a way that I couldn't understand. Oh, sorry. Hurting in a way I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. And I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because they deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. 
Uh, uh. <laughs> he just so starts vibrating. Oh, sorry, my phone's <laughs> going off. <laughs> oh, I better so get it. Just let me. It was like, hold on. I, I got. It's like I like to think he's like he's like hugging her with one arm and has his phone like between her face and his face. Like I care about you, Sayori. I really do. <laughs> he's like, like, like fucking around on his phone. Like. Yeah. <laughs> 